I think I had a clearest the, the clearest sense of of um, how John works came to me on, on this last film, where he would play ideas, tunes mm -hmm. that didn't necessarily belong to any one sequence, or might he might play as a background some of the imagery from a sequence, but um, no conviction that the tune actually belongs there. It's just something that right. felt right. The atmosphere felt right for the themes of the story, and uh, and. It, it's interesting because it's I can draw a similarity to how we work. You know, oftentimes we have a moment we really like and we think, oh, this this would be a great sequence to include it, and it just kind of rejects it in a mm, way. Yeah. And so you try to find some other spot for it, and oftentimes it just sort of drops out. And you think, okay, I'll use it in another movie one day. <laughs> uh, he played a, a tune for me on this film that, that I loved, but there was no place for it in the movie. And I thought, like, okay, we got to find a way of wedging it in there because it's so good. But, you know, I'm sure it'll appear in another John Powell <laughs> score in the future. Uh, so I, I think it's quite interesting that, um, that, yeah, it's not driven by the imagery. It's sort of driven by a, a, a larger thematic sense, yeah. which comes through John's prism. And, and he, he understands the story in a slightly different way than I do. Uh, he'll read the script, he'll see an early screening, and he'll begin to draw his own kind of thematic through lines, which actually, in the best possible way, work as harmonies to what I'm dealing with on the surface level. Right. 